In this video, we are going to look at custom authorization fields, the fields, authorization fields. So, we will go to transaction SU20. Here, we will see all the fields. So, we are just going to look at one field to understand the logic, how they are mapping uh, the fields. So, I will right click, set filter, I will say, go look at TCV. So now I have a particular field called TCV, which is in S, S underscore T code. Okay, it's under S underscore T code. So highlight that, display. So now the field name is TCV, and its uh, data element is T code, and it's mapped to ESTC. So whatever uh, transaction, so this table contains the transactions. So whatever transactions is added here, will be will be the lookup value for this field TCD okay. and if you look at down here it basically tells you this TCD field is in all these objects or second objects okay. let's, let's say let's copy this one okay. now let's figure out uh, where this data element field is coming from okay. so it's coming from this table TSTC so for that we go to SE16 F11, sorry, F11. So now TSTC display. So this is the data element T code. T code, the data element which is coming from TSTC. TC. Okay, now let's go to PSTG. So we have this object. Okay. So that has object has a field called TCD. So we want to look at the final form and see the field is TCD. Okay. So if you pull up here and if you look up the values, what is coming up here? It's basically these values are coming from TSTC table. TSTC table. So for example, if you look at uh, mm star okay. it will pull up all the m related transactions so this is basically this values are coming from tstc table okay <coughs> thanks for watching the video please uh, like and subscribe and comment if you have any questions please let me know <coughs> next video will be how to create a custom field thank you